Hey everybody, this is more of a holy crap am I disgusted kind of a video. You know, <clears throat> the first one I got in of these cameras, the Lumix S1R, it was, I did some images and I didn't have the lens for it. I used the um, Voigtlander 40mm f1.2 and the rendering is beautiful, color gorgeous. And, and I did one yesterday. Um, with the Panasonic's 85 millimeter um, composite plastic, whatever it's called, lens, and it rendered yellowish green. It was a sharp lens, but nothing exciting. Um, actually, pretty boring. Um, <laughs> I, I know I probably ask way too much of cameras, but the weight is fantastic for me. I love a heavy camera. Um, you know, ever since the Nikon D3 X or S or whatever it was, um, I just, I love a heavy camera. It just feels good in the hand. It's something to hold on to. It stabilizes for photos. It just doesn't bother me. Now, you know, the funny thing is with the Fuji system, like the X-Pro3, I think it's such a well-built camera. I love it. Um, I think we're a little spoiled by that. Now, is it, you know, like a quality well-built? No, but it's damn well-built camera. Um, you know, I've shown you my Pentax before, my K1000. It's from 1982, and there's not a creak in it. There's not anything that's off misaligned or anything, and I used the hell out of that. <laughs> I mean, and even the back door, because it's a you know wide-opening back door, you think that would just go, and it just hasn't. It never has. And my old Nikons, the, you know, the um, F3 HP, and, you know, they had intricate moving parts, and everything fits so perfectly together. And then this. So, as I told you, the first one that came in had issues with the hot shoe. Um, I had to send it back uh, to MPB. And there was a corrosion. I'm going to try to show a picture, because I did, did a couple pictures for them so they could see what it was. And, you know, it, it didn't come from something else because it came from underneath the hot shoe metal and it was really deep in the side. So it's not like um, a remote with batteries could have leaked on it just, you know, because it doesn't leak that way. It just doesn't happen. Um, and there wasn't anything on the surface. It was all underneath. Um, so I don't know if it, maybe it was glue uh, or, or something like that that oozed out. And I don't blame MPB because I don't know how long ago they got it. Uh, it's probably put in a warehouse and... You know, maybe it happened during that time where it just festered, <laughs> with lack of a better word. Um, anyway, so they sent me a new one. And now that first one had 5,000 images on it. And, you know, I was pissed because it had, like, this, this door where your memory cards go. You can hear it click if you just push on it a little bit. Now, it doesn't click that way. It slides out um, like this. So, you know, for it to have a click when you push on it like this... It's weird. Um, it just, it bothers me. Um, so, you know, when I got the new one in, it, this had the same click. So I'm thinking, is this inherent to this camera? Is it, you know, I, I don't know. The tolerances are just off. Now, like this feels like an extremely well-built camera. I mean, it's solid um, and, and robust. And, and, you know, the, the screen when you flip it out seems solid. Um, everything's, you know, it's well built. Um, but <laughs> here's the but. So when I went to do the shoot, I wanted to use the LEDs and I wanted to use flash. I really wanted to take this camera and lens through its paces now that I had the, the lens that actually went with it. And I went to put a remote on the hot shoe and it wouldn't slide on. So I'm thinking, wow, I wonder if like because it was a Profoto remote, and it was the Olympus Panasonic remote. And I'm, I was wondering if it was something that was, you know, metal was a little thicker or something like that. But it didn't make sense to me, because you know, why would they make something that's just a little off to go with one specific camera when another camera's going to come? It just... So I tried the flash, and, you know, if I really worked it in, I can get it in three-quarters of the way. The, the remote wouldn't go in three-quarters, went in halfway. It was just strange. So... You know, I literally did some pictures of this and sent them to Panasonic and got on the phone with Panasonic. And, and like, there's no 
damage to this. Like visually, there's nothing. It looks, you know, perfect. Um, I don't see any bend in or anything like that. So the only thing I can think of is the metal that's inside the hot shoe is pulled up or something that it's just, um, I, I don't know what else it could be. But this camera has 1,800 shots on it. You know, obviously this is used too, but I mean, it's pristine everywhere, except there's a ray somewhere in this hot shoe. Now, you know, maybe the person used something, um, a flash or something like that, but it wouldn't matter because if you're counting on this, and I took this to a job and tried to put my remote in, and it, it didn't work, it won't fit. <laughs> and I tried several, it's not just that one. I tried a Godox, I tried a, a, another one that I, I, nothing fits in here. You know, literally I would have had to put a jam in a, 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 a speed light to get through the job. And then who knows what kind of damage I would have done to it. But these little tiny things um, with a camera that only has 1,800 shots on it is, is disturbing, <laughs> to say the least. Now, I mean, I'm looking at this camera and I'm thinking every part of this camera is going to last a long, long time because of the build quality. But then you look at something like that that went after just 1,000 shots and you think, well, how build good can the build quality actually be? I mean... And the buttons and dials and everything, they, they seem fine. Um, you know, the, the one card slot with the XQD, it's really tight to get the XQD card in there, which, again, that's a little concerning to me. The tolerances, um, you know, the, the overall body may be fantastic, but the little things, um, and it's not little when you're trying to shoot, like a hot shoe or, or just a battery door creaking already when this is supposed to be, you know... Uh, water resistant and, and dust resistant. I, so it really disgusts me. <laughs> like, you know, you have the Fuji X-Pro3, which is a solid camera and, and I use the hell out of it and nothing creaks. Um, and then you have, you know, a, a $3,500 camera, a $3,800 camera, whatever it is, and you have two issues within your first 15, 1800 shots. Um, now, you know, granted somebody had it before and short of them taking a screwdriver and prying something up in there, I, I don't see what, have, what could have went wrong. So, yeah, it's, it bothers me. So it, it's the same thing, you know, that it takes me and it gives me a bad feeling about the lenses because yeah, I'm sure they're fantastic lenses. Um, you know, I didn't like the yellowish shift versus the other lens, but, you know, if the tolerance is like this, um, are on this camera, which is, you know, it was their flagship full frame camera, and things are going already at 1800 shots. And this is two in a row, remember, that's not just like I'm not just doing one. The first one only had 5,000 shots on it. Um, you know, you can rate the shutter at, at 400,000 all you want, but if the camera doesn't last 1500 shots, what good is a, a 400,000? Anyway, so when I was getting the system, I wanted to try the, the um, Panasonic lenses, uh, the new 1.8s, and I also wanted to try the Sigmas. And I got this um, lens, and I haven't used this yet, so I can't really say anything about it. Um, but the quality of this lens from Sigma, you know, out of the box quality. Now, if it's typical of their glass, it's going to be great. And... Um, I'm sure it's going to render fantastic, but the build quality takes me back to 1982. <laughs> um, it reminds me of the Voigtlanders um, and the Leicas. Not, please don't bash me. I'm not saying it's as good as a Leica. I'm just saying the build quality in this thing is very impressive out of the box. Um, it is a beautifully designed lens, and I'm hoping that the images match the style. This is the 65. Um, I'm going to shoot with it as soon as possible um, and see what it looks like. I'm, I'm going to get an L-mount camera no matter what just so I can use this lens because uh, I like it that much. I am sending back the Panasonic and will never <laughs> get another one of their cameras. And I know this may be 
you know, out there and, and if everything else is so fantastic. But I'm sorry, if I can't put something on the hot shoe and or the first one, the hot shoe starts to corrode out of the camera, <laughs> there's something wrong. Um, so yeah, I, I'm honestly giving up on this camera this quickly. I did love the image quality with the Voigtlander 40. I thought it was stunning. Um, and the color rendition and everything about it was just beautiful. But it doesn't matter if you can't use it, you know, and you know, I, and Panasonic, I, I have told them, I bought this thing used, it only has a thousand shots in it, we'll send it in for repair, um, and we'll send you the bill. <laughs> anyway, MBB is taking it back, it's not an issue. Um, but I'm just going to pick up another L mount, I don't know what it is, I don't care if it's a, like a CL, I want to play with these lenses because uh, Sigma has impressed the living hell out of me with these. I've never used Sigma, honestly. I, I think I maybe shot with one one time or something. Um, and I'm sure they have their dogs too, but um, this lens, um, I, I'll tell you what, it's just, it's beautiful. Um, so hats off to Sigma and their team because what a blast of the past and, uh, and a good feeling to the future because I'm looking forward to using this. Um, Anyway, I'll let you know how this is. Sorry about the rant, uh, but I just had to get this off my chest. I'm really, really disappointed with this camera. Um, and I'm sorry to see it go because of the image quality, but can't wait to get rid of it because of the issues. Um, and man, that was just two shoots I just hit. <laughs> and wow. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully the next one's going to be a lot more positive and, and give you some good information. And I'll definitely tell you about these lenses from Sigma, the, the contemporary, I don't know what they are, they're Sigma contemporary something. Um, you guys probably know what they are, but beautiful, beautiful build quality. Anyway, thanks.